old mug, it just ain't like any I've ever seen. Although he is, he's kind of fancy pants. Oh, you make a fine sailor. Until the puke in setting. A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions, try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this, and though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. Let's begin. To start with, 
Tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. Siri was orphaned during the Second War with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morhen. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose, she lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though as of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? I'm listening. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there. Didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the waters of oblivion? They failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then, but already I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Yes. No need to rush. We have time. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. 
She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Siri on stairs, slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. I told her never to try it again. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? I have more to say. Then please do. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For gods know what reason, race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but... Couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker? The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. Know when a legend transforms into prophecy? When it gains believers? I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. They call Ciri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Yennefer why, she... travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places. And that Ciri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. I remember Ciri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Ciri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable, and try to relax. You must take my hand, and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot.
to have a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Ciri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will. Rosemary in time? Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The Rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. Yes. Ah. a rat. Hey, sure. Whitey. Why'd your hair go white? Ramen supper I never refuse.
I'll never come back, you stinking stadges! All we wanted was... Don't give a flying fuck what you wanted. Get! And it's raining again. Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth! in the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't they going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. We sold! We can greet each other like the gods ordained. Ages, pal. Hey, Sultan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian laggers standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. <sighs> Got some problems. Rather not burden you. Fuck off, Geralt. Need to spill your guts to me now. I'm looking for Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? The six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> we have a wee problem then. There's a few things. Let me guess. Triss? Yennefer, perchance? Triss and I talked. Cleared some things up. As for Yennefer, well... So you found her? Ha! Need to tell me all about it. I will. Some other time. Got something a tinge more important to take care of now. Meaning? Where's Dandelion? Ha! <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned as you saw. I'm expecting to come home to your hot leg of boar and some cold ale. What do you find instead? A shite storm. 
Dandelion gone, the tavern choked full of bombs. Have no clue what happened. Mm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. Aha! A note from a grateful muse. Reading someone else's letters. My visage red and hot. I plunged into purest ecstasy, imbibing its nectar. Your dexterous digits on my soul's yearning cords. Hmm. Ten barrels of Tucson dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no! That's exactly what we're looking for! It says planner! Seems Dandelion's taking the tavern business seriously. If you only knew. Gives it everything. No seen him this obsessed ever. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Hmm, not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm, we should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. Such a... Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. From the finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows the fruit of the fruit of the vine like dandelion. This the loot he got from the elves of Dolbathana. Aye. Must have been in a great rush to leave it behind. Annual balladry contest. Silver laurel awarded to Master Dandelion. Prince Heriwold himself did the honors, and the feast afterwards, to celebrate the laureates. 
down the line, taught us fine to yodel, and I... Ugh, another time. The Faculty of Oxenford University is honored to grant Julian Alfred Pankratz, Viscount de Letinove, the title of Master of the Seven Liberal Arts. Keep forgetting he's got that damn fool name. <laughs> <laughs>